today I'm going to show you how to set up this um DIY um amber light. This is actually big for uh TV behind. So the function of this it will follow what you have in your background to your movie. So it will give you more um good experience watching or playing um games. So let's see what's inside here. So I got here the power cable all right it's USB then yeah USB power cable and I got the umber light itself this is actually for 55 to 60 inches TV so yep and I got this device this device will allow you to follow whatever background you have um to your output like games or movie so let's see how it goes i will set up um th this uh led light at the back of my tv let me show you behind so i do have existing one but this one is just a normal led light so let me do the replacement and get back to you Hello guys, um, I managed to set up my um, backlight uh, behind my TV. So I've done also the cabling uh, on my um, computer connected to the TV itself as well. So now we need to install the application itself. So from here, um, you must go to this um, portal then I will just um, leave the description below also with a link so once you do have this um, link uh, you need to download the application MB box so this is actually the application for my device so once you've installed this um, it's really straightforward installation I don't need to install for this uh, video because I managed to install here so once you open it will run like this so this is the basic application itself so you can actually donate with the, the programmer um program settings as a basic um information actually you need to do like uh, for example you can hide this um application uh blink taskbar notification area show your uh, taskbar notification area start uh with uh, your program with this application so for this case i don't need to do something here more important is actually this one so once you go to intelligent backlight um, you will notice few um, bars here or option this is how you turn on your backlight uh, itself you can actually do a shortcut key uh, in my case I prefer to um, do a control plus a means ambience so by default here um, 
it will automatically go to the this uh, setting by default, right? So since I'm using my my TV as my secondary monitor, um, you can actually go to display. Just make sure that which um, which number you you want to do a backlight, right? So you can actually identify this as my uh, monitor on my computer and the second one is my TV layer I'm going to show you using my mobile alright so from here I will go to more settings let me explain this to you one by one so once you've turned on this you do have a selection here so for example I will turning on this by clicking or I can do a shortcut key as well control A so once I've turned on automatically in my screen, I can see a um, backlight. Uh, let me try to open my handphone. So I will try to start a video here and let me try to rotate to my TV as well. There we go. So, for example, in this option, right, I will change this color to other color. You can see the butt backlight here. Alright. So, basically, um, it will follow which color you select here. Alright. So, let me stop my phone video. Alright. So... In order for you to follow what video you have um, selected you can actually select screen capture so what this thing do um, it will capture those um, background for example you're playing a movie or games it will capture the color on the background itself so you have a better experience you know watching or playing games so from here the basic uh, stuff you need to do or configuration you need to do is um, make sure the mode is screen capture. The method of screen capture, um, it's supposed to be GDI, FS, N, O, arrow, right? So show areas is actually the, the, the area which one you want to select. For my case, it's supposed to be uh, display one because I'm using my monitor, my TV monitor. All right, so it will reflect here starting zero, means zero here, but in my local machine, it will show one. All right, so for example, you do have multiple um, monitor, you can actually uh, do, um, do one behind on this application, all right? So um, of course, the delay um, output to LED and the uh, maximum uh, FPS is actually uh, it depends on the delay time you 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 want uh, there is a, a preference um, based on your preference so um, what else so you can actually save this profile the most important actually here is the device um, port color and the number zone okay so the device is your um device um equipment um my device is actually a, a ad light so the port you can actually uh, verify the port on your um does uh device manager manager so basically here if you scroll down you can see this um ports um com and ltp so what this thing do right um automatically it will detect which port actually you connected for my case i actually connected one of the uh usb port um in front of my computer <coughs> so it will detect as com7 but but uh just in case you change your port or you, you plug this one to the different um port usb port it will actually detect detect as a uh, different port as well so maybe i can just give you um sample i will turn off this one first let me remove this all right so basically let me try to change to one of the port in front 
All right, so once it's blog, it will become uh, port 6. So this is the most important. You need to uh, uh, follow the right port from the application itself from here to um, recognize the, the device. So <coughs> let me just put it back to COM7 because it, that was near on my, my TV. So let me see here. Okay, COM7. So let me change back to COM7 from here. So RGB, of course, is a color. Um, numbers of zone. Numbers of zone is actually the numbers of LED light you have behind your your um, screen. So in my case, I do have a 55 inches. I actually cut the LED light because I purchased for 65 inches. So I counted the total LED light I have, and it is exact one. 18 so from here it will automatically close and reopen back the application this is actually a recognizing the how many let's led lights you have so if i turn on again that's the most important uh, troubleshooting you you've um you will do at the back end uh the rest you can just leave it as default all right so once it's done um you need to save save the settings, of course. Then, uh, come on, let let me try to play something on the TV itself. All right, yeah. see you around. Let me change to my mobile phone. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, now I'm um actually uh, using um YouTube to test this um this lightning. So from here, I can just demo to you. Let me drag this to my computer to my screen there then let me maximize this All right so let's see how it goes let me try to play this <laughs> 